Hey guys, thought I'd switch it up a little bit today. Um, just on a bench here with the woods behind me this time. I'm not in the woods. But, yeah, someone requested a video about fasting. And I've done a, a little bit on it before. Uh, let's go a little bit more in depth. Let's clarify everything. Um, why we're doing it, how to do it. Um, and, you know, all the good little details, right? So, what I usually do. And... You know, I've been thinking about upping this because the more and more I learn, you know, the the better and better it seems to be, right? And really, how much can we really do it and pretty much fast from the whole world, right? At, at some point, that might really be the goal. But I'll tell you what I do currently. So <clears throat> I try to do a day before every full moon each month, right? Um, they say the full moon brings out the parasites in the body, which makes people go crazy. Now, these parasites are in everything we eat. It's pretty much impossible not to have these things in your body. Right? And I'm of the opinion that we all have them. And what they do is they're essentially like physical demons. They feed off of you. They feed off your energy. And just like the astral beings, uh, which are probably interrelated, right? Um... They conjure specific actions and thoughts or rather specific thoughts and emotions in your body to lead to certain actions, which then they can feed off that energy, right? They feed off of, first of all, the physical energy that you eat, such as the starches, the, the sugars in your body. The food we naturally consume has, you know, the stuff they need. That's how they got in our body in the first place. And it's curious because... They eat at us, but they still need us to survive. So it's a bit of a paradox. They can't eat too much, right? Yet, on the other hand, fasting serves to really, you know, cut out their food supply, right? So they're not going to be getting the same amount of energy that they usually would. And that can cause some sort of reaction in the body, some sort of physical pains and aches um, until they're kind of cleared out a little bit. So that's why I do it. I do it before that full moon because the full moon is set to bring them out and make people crazy, um, right? So a lot more people are more emotional, uh, depending on how much of these things, even emotional traumas, but likely all interconnected, they hold into in their body. In that case, you know, I'll just go a full 24 hours before well, where I'll wake up, you know, maybe the day before the day before the full moon i'll have my last meal at like eight o'clock seven o'clock or something right i try not to eat at night especially for my numerology it's bad for my mental health so i try to go to to sleep with my food already digested essentially then i'll wake up next day will not touch any sort of food like i'm talking not even vitamins nothing nothing chewable nothing edible I will have water throughout the day. Get as much water as you can. That'll help with the cleansing process. Okay. And then I'll go till about, you know, from 9 to 9 or something. Right. So 9 the other day, 9 o'clock at night till 9 o'clock that night, which is a full 24 hours. And then I'll usually be hungry. I'll have some fruit. Try not to get a really large meal, especially not at night, because that's really just going to nullify the whole process and it's gonna make you feel bad and and heavy so something light and then you can start picking up the food intake the next day right i worry a little bit sometimes because i'm a little bit skinnier i've been trying to put on some muscle mass and that's hard if you're not eating right especially not eating meat and my diet in general is very balanced a little bit of everything maybe more a little bit more weighted towards the meat but i also definitely love my fruit and then, of course, I'll have some vegetables in there as well. But I try to make it very balanced, just like this whole realm. And these, everything needs to be balanced. You can't be picking sides. So I don't think that's the optimal way to go about uh, living in this matrix, right? If you yourself are, are balanced, then you will attract other balanced things towards you, right? Just look at the attachment styles. Um, look at politics, right? If you're secure, you will attract secure people. If you're heavily weighted towards, you know, uh, avoidant or anxious, then you will attract the opposite, right? That's why they say opposites attract until you become secure. But back to the fasting. 
so that in that 24 hours again you're just you're just um drinking water and you know you may you may feel lethargic throughout the day right you may feel like you don't have as much energy so try to maybe adjust the day based on how much work you're doing that day right if you can't do it the day before because you know you gotta work 12 hours then don't right eat throughout that day um do it the next day on the on the full moon but try to make it around you know within three days of that full moon whether it's before or after because that will be the best time to catch these things when they come to the surface right so that's the moon brings them out and then you clear them you you try to, to destroy them eliminate them by not giving them food right which you know it's probably not um going to fully cleanse you right you need like longer and longer days for that because they are uh, very persistent <laughs> um, but you would also want to cut out pork i tried my best not to eat any pork shrimp you know seafood also try my best not to eat any of those these are said to have the most of these beings these parasites um right i still eat meat things like that but you know things that are dirty the way they eat like pigs are very dirty the way they eat right they don't sweat um seafood is like the the garbage of like the the, the seafaring um <clears throat> beings right because they they, they feed on the, the their bottom feeders right that's why they call that I, I think they've tried to trick people into thinking that um you know lobsters are for the rich and, you know that's that's the program right you, you you see rich people eating lobster all the time but that's just a program they, they probably don't do that because they know that they're bottom feeders um and you know cutting these things out will help to prevent them but from what i've learned from what i'm, I'm seeing is that fasting does contribute a lot to stem cell repair repair and oh, it's only after seven days that you actually begin to lose muscle mass whereas until then it's a ketosis process where it just burns fat right similar to walking if you do a lot of walking you're actually only burning fat because it's uh it's an anabolic process as opposed to aerobic which is running when you're running you're or an an i'm sorry it's an anaerobic as opposed to aerobic which means when you're running you're burning muscle and fat right which is why marathon runners are very skinny right they don't have any muscle on them whereas sprinters they have more muscle um because they're only doing it for a short time so they can hold more muscle on them anyways uh the stem cell repair process seems to happen after the third day of fasting so you know if you have any aches and pains maybe taking this process a little bit further you know doing a three-day fast every once in a while which i'm thinking maybe i should do like a one day fast every week and then do a three-day fast every full moon which is what i might up it to but you guys need to start with this process that i'm currently at to get used to it get your body used to it and that will help with more stem cell repair especially as we get older right so that's something i need to start implementing um but yeah try that out see how that goes for you try it out the first month second month and let me know in the comments what you think of it what you think of what i said today uh if you find this true for you leave the, the uh leave a like for the video if you enjoyed it subscribe and i'll see you guys next time take care